Hi, second grade scientists, it's Mrs. Steele. We are gonna continue learning a little bit about how seeds move, right? We watched a little bit on how they move and if we were in class, we would be testing this hands-on um, with a variety of different seeds. Unfortunately, we are not able to do that right now. So I'm going to do a couple of the tests for you um, just to show you some a little bit of how the lab would work. Now you can also do some of this at home. If you go for a walk later and you find seeds around uh, where you live, you can bring them home and do a couple tests with them. Um, always be careful. Um, just make sure you wash your hands always when you're touching anything outside in nature. Um, or if you have seeds, perhaps you have some seeds that are in your pantry. If you have pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds, um, maybe lentils or beans are also considered seeds. Um, or if you're going to eat a piece of fruit sometime and you want to take those seeds out, you can also work with those. All right, we're going to start off by watching a video and then I'll meet you back right after that. an oak tree drops right down to the ground it really wants to travel but can never move around seeds can't ride on scooters and they sure can't pedal bikes it's stuck right near its oak tree it can't walk or run or hike but a dopey hoppy squirrel picks it up and grins a grin we're gonna store the seed before the winter snows me in he takes it far away to a secret hiding place and forgets about the acorn acorn's gone without a trace amazing things can happen how can this ever be that secret hidden acorn grows a new oak tree they're moving all around seeds seeds they're cruising all through town seeds 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 they're moving all around seeds seeds they gotta get away by fell so quickly from a palm tree by the sea. Hit a big crab in the claw, that crab is green, why me? The crab had lost his temper, and so did that crab's daughter. They pushed and pushed that coconut, splash splash into the water. That coconut spent time traveling just like a big blue boat. Rolling in the rough sea water, coconuts can float. They floated days and nights, they floated many weeks. That coconut was super strong, never springing any leaks. It landed far away on a sunny sandy beach. It landed far away in a place that crabs can't reach. The nut was so, so happy, as happy as can be. Sprouted in the shining sun and grew into a tree. They're moving all around. Seeds, seeds, they're cruising all through town. Seeds, 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 they're moving all around. Seeds, seeds, they gotta get away from their plants and trees. Seeds you find on maple trees can make amazing flights. See them flying through the air when the wind is blowing right. They're like little helicopters, twirling birdies, spinny spin. Spinning, 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 maple seeds just make me grin. Maple seeds can cause a stir when they're soaring through the air. When they're flying high like birds do right past hats in people's hair. Those flying seeds can come down in places where they'll stay. To grow a brand new maple tree in places far away. After walking through the forest with a friend or three or two, you might find something grabbing to your socks or to your shoe. You might discover something on your pants or on your shirt. Or maybe in your hair. Sometimes those things can hurt. These seeds that hitch their rides, these seeds they're known as birds, attach themselves to clothing or animals with furs. Guess hitching rides is special, is what these seeds can do. Hitching on my left sock and on your right sock too. And when we pull those birds off, our pants are off a skirt. We may throw them far away or drop them in some dirt. There the birds can sprout, far from their mother plant. We help those bird seeds travel by themselves, birds really can. There's so many different plants and trees on Earth, and lots of different ways seeds can be dispersed. Do some research to discover more ways seeds can travel away from their plant or tree. They gotta get away from their plants and trees. They're moving all around. Seeds, seeds, they're cruising up 
really catchy song um, but you learned a lot about seeds right some of them love to travel by wind some by water like that coconut some by um, we saw sticking to people's clothing I love one of my favorite things to do with my children is when we go for walks we look for seeds and it kind of sounds funny but you start seeing them everywhere if you start looking for them so I, I ask that you guys go out on a walk sometime tonight and look around your neighborhood and see what you find. So I'm gonna show you a couple different seeds I have here. Now this one is actually part of an acorn. There was an acorn top on this, but it's a really long acorn. There we go. Um, so that's an acorn I found. This one is a little spiky seed pod. But there was seeds all inside here, spiky. Um, I have this one here, it's kind of flat. Maybe you've seen these inside and the seeds inside there. Um, if I were to crack it open, there'd be seeds in there. Um, Pine cones. Pine cones hold seeds in them. Isn't that neat? And then one of my favorites, hopefully you can find these, is this really big seed pod. And when it dries out, you can kind of make a musical instrument with it. But there are hundreds of seeds in here. Um, I like these just because I pretend we make music with these all the time, but these are a favorite of ours. But you can find the ones with beans, um, the little helicopter ones from Oaks. Um, there's really so many seeds outside, and once you start looking for them, you find them everywhere. Um, and there's such a great discussion um, to talk about seeds. So we are going to think about how do some seeds travel. So uh, let's take, there's ones called animal droppings. Well, if an animal is going to have it become a dropping and move it from one place, well, what do they need to do with it? They need to eat it. So what seeds do you think might be the ones that, they, uh, that animals eat? Nuts, right? We've got our acorn, right? Nuts, what else? Some berries or fruit, vegetables, they all have seeds in them, right? Yeah, uh, one that I think of a lot with um, birds is they like to eat sunflower seeds. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, I'm going to take a look at Hitchhiker. So I actually have a sock on me and I'm going to touch all my seeds and we're going to see if any get stuck to it. So I know you can't see me, but I'm going to go ahead and start touching. Oh, look at that. That spiky, whoop, it fell off, but did it stick? There we go. Look at that. This one we would call a hitchhiker because it likes to stick to uh, clothing or fur of animals. Pretty cool, huh? So I would put this one in our little hitchhiker section. Uh, let me check some others. No, the pine cone might be too heavy. Got a little couple, oh, interesting. I don't think you can see that, but there's some tiny, tiny seeds on there um, that actually stuck. I think it's a grass seed um, that's stuck onto clothing. So sometimes if they're lightweight, they can do that too. So I would put a couple into that hitchhiker one. Now wind. Now, I don't want to make a huge windstorm, but do you think my uh, this one's going to go with wind? That's how I would test it. Did it move? Acorn? Oh! Maybe a little bit if the wind gets it right, it can start rolling. This one? No. What about my little burr, the hitchhiking one? Oh, it's pretty lightweight. Could that probably move along the ground? Yeah, I've got some seeds here. Ooh, the, there's some really tiny ones that are definitely flooring away. I would put those in the wind section too. Now, burying is kind of similar to our animal ones. We need an animal to do that. Uh, we have our acorn here. That definitely would be something um, a squirrel or a chipmunk might bury. Um, I have a macadamia nut tree in my um, yard and those get buried all the time. So I have little macadamia nut trees popping up all over my yard and actually in my flower bed. And then boaters are ones that float. So I have a glass of water here and I'm going to test a couple seeds. So I've got this like a bean here. Oh, that just sunk, huh? Let's try this guy, the spiky ball guy, which we said is a hitchhiker and can move by wind. 
<gasps> he could possibly float on water. We could consider him a boater. So could some of these move in multiple ways? What about our acorn? Do you think it's going to float or sink? <gasps> it's right there on the top. I don't want to spill, spill water, but he floated. Um, pine cones? Do they float or sink? Take your guess. <gasps> He's floating too. We have a lot that can float, huh? Very cool. So I really, really would love if you can go out and go out on a walk tonight, gather some seeds you find, or maybe you have some in your pantry or when you eat food, you can pull the little seeds out and test them. See if you can blow them easily. See if they float in water. Um, see if they stick to your clothes. Um, you don't have to worry about burying them or animal droppings, but just think, would an animal eat this? Okay. Um, you're going to log into your seesaw activity and you just have a couple <laughs> um, seeds right there just to put into the um, map. So think about it. Which ones do you think would stick to you? Which ones do you think would fly in the air? And I can't wait to see you next time, scientists. Bye.